to create our tree map visualization, we'll go ahead and create a new dashboard. And I have data stored on my OneDrive for Business account in a data folder. Let me go over to tree map. And this is a record set of a little over a thousand rows. I think it's about 1500 rows of artist data. So let's do a quick preview of this sheet. And you'll see I've got fields like country, city, art field, art subfield with market value. Something like a tree map is great for this type of data, especially if I just want to get an idea of, for example, the top art fields and what their subfields are by country. So let's go ahead and select this data set. And the first thing I'm going to do in the visualization editor is select the tree map visualization. And as I mentioned, when we looked at the data, let's map out the art field, the art subfield, and how many of those subfields are by country and we'll use market value. So you can see the tree map appeared as soon as I added the value. And this does give me some useful information. I know that music is a $3 billion value. Plastic is $2 billion. Dance is about a billion. Theater comes in fourth place around $430 million. You'll notice in my legend I have a total market value of $7 billion. A couple other features of this tree map is the header is actually clickable to give me a list of the values of the categories in this particular parent category. So you can see here under music, there's a lot of music. And then finally, I could drill down in this tooltip. At the same time, if I just click on any of the rectangles, which are the children of music, I can drill down immediately and I can see that the market value. So if I drill down, I can see all of the subfields by country. So remember, we had art field, then the subfield, then the country. So this would be the subfield, and then of course, country, Germany, 48 million, Spain, 54, etc. If I click one of these guys, I can drill down and look at the rock group. And this gives me a view which is very easy to discern that Germany is spending the most money on rock music, Spain's number two. And then Portugal comes in last at 778K. And this is 2% of the total market value of 123 million. So if I drill back up, we can see that rock was 123 million. And I can drill back up to artist year. Now, this visualization, while it's useful, gives me too much information. I really just want to know the top half of the market. So what I'm going to do is drag market value again to the data filter. And I will do a filter by rule. And my rule will give me, let's say, the uh, top 50% of the market. So if I do top percent and type in 50 and create filter, this is more what I really needed. I just wanted to know what really makes up the top end of the market by art field and subfield. So I can see dance is really number one. And you'll notice that music now is the second largest category where in my previous visualization before I added the data filter, plastic was number two. What does that mean? Well, plastic had a lot of small categories. So it probably had maybe three times the amount of smaller categories that made up the bottom half of the market. So really at the top end, the top 50% of the market, we have dance and music and theater still is in third. Now, if I drill down into dance, we can see that folk dance is 66 million, then classical, then Latin rhythm, then street and freestyle. And you can see Spain is actually spending the most money in this category where when I looked at the entirety of all of the categories, Germany was spending the most. So Germany is spending a lot of money on some of the smaller categories of art and music where Spain is spending more. And you can always tell by the tool tip uh, what the total market value is and what this portion of the market value is would be. So that's it. That's all it takes to create a hierarchical tree view with reveal.